Community, outreach, impact. Connecting those in need with those who can help. Neighbors for Neighbors is more than just another nonprofit organization. We are members of the community, just like you. We're here every day, along with our many partners, to give support to our neighbors in need. Welcome to the 2024 Neighbors for Neighbors Summer Special. I am your host, Cynthia Demas, and I'm so lucky today to be joined by my co-host from 104.3 The Shark, Ashley O. We are here at Odyssey, where we are going to be bringing you the show from this year. Where are we? What are we doing? We're in the studio, and we're hanging out, getting ready to talk about some of the amazing things Neighbors for Neighbors has been doing recently. You started something great that's really helped our community, and you did it in collaboration with Neighbors for Neighbors. Tell us about that. It's my passion project. It's Ashley O's Food Fight, and we paid off the outstanding student lunch debt in Broward County. So now all kids in our county get full, nutritious lunches, regardless of their financial standings at home. And what's really cool about Ashley O's Food Fight is now Neighbors for Neighbors has turned this into a bigger initiative where we help with food insecurity all across South Florida. One of the things I've learned now that I'm a board member for Neighbors for Neighbors and have gotten to see more about how the food insecurity problem is solved here in town, I've learned how much a dollar can stretch when you give it to the right people. And monetary donations are huge. I can take a dollar and buy 19 cans of food, whereas you go to the grocery store and with that $1 can only pick up a couple of things. It really is about stretching your money and helping as many people as possible, which is only possible when you have the connections that Neighbors for Neighbors has. Neighbors for Neighbors also supports much bigger drives, like things that Farm Share and Mobile School Pantry put on. It allows us to feed the most people in our community possible. And volunteering is huge too. Like if you are a kid who needs service hours or if you wanna see where this money goes, we invite you to come out to one of our events and volunteer. It's crazy to watch the impact you have directly and it definitely fuels you to wanna to continue to help people once you realize it really doesn't take that much of your effort to make a big impact. in 2005 my mom started a business in real estate and it was the most exciting thing ever a single mom of three raising us sadly in 2007 when that market housing market crashed we went from being having a home to being homeless and programs just like farm share allowed the opportunity for my mom to be able to have food so now i get to take that opportunity i learned everything i can no one should have to go hungry and i just want to do everything in my power to make sure that that is achieved The main purpose of the food distribution today is to make sure that we provide easy access to those people who are hungry, who, who need life-sustaining food. That would cost someone maybe $150, $200 in today's inflationary times, and we're able to give that to them free of charge. It costs them nothing. We prefer monetary donations over food donations because we can, again, based on that economies of scale, at 13 cents a pound, we can acquire more food than you could provide and then donate to us. Um, and we also need volunteers. So we need volunteers to come out and run these events to help prepack food products. So there's multiple ways that you can help FarmShare. The best way is to go to our website, farmshare.org, and there you can contact our volunteer coordinator and find out how you can help us. After our successful food drive collaboration in the spring, we turned our attention to hurricane preparedness. With our friends at FarmShare, Global Empowerment Mission, and Amazon, we held a supply distribution drive to help our neighbors be ready for any storms ahead. Jem is very glad to be here today to help serve the community with so many great organizations. It helps us get ahead of the storm instead of after and pre-position instead of being reactive or being proactive. 
Farm Share is very grateful for all the partnerships that we have today that are helping us distribute these products. You have got Jim, Global Empowerment Mission. We've partnered with them for the last two storms now. We met them during Hurricane Ian, and this partnership with them is continuing to expand, and we're grateful to have them. Same thing, Neighbors for Neighbors. We're very grateful to have them here today to provide covers for this event, to help support this event. They've also been great in great, uh, generating some donations and supplies for the event itself, as well as for hurricane relief efforts we've had in the years past. In cooperation with Funky Buddha and the Greater Fort Lauderdale Chamber of Commerce, we sponsored a luncheon with special guest Oakland Park Fire Chief Stephen Krivjanic and CBS Miami meteorologist Cindy Pressler to provide valuable insights on hurricane season and safety. Hurricanes 8 to 13, 7 is average. And major hurricanes, that would be a category 3 or higher, expecting 4 to 7 of those. Three is average. Back to the floods just uh, last year in Broward County, we worked with rebuilding together Broward, the entry of Broward. We brought in one million dollars worth of supplies. In fact, some of them are stored right here in the park chair, another part of the bars. That's what Neighbors for Neighbors is all about, coming together, collaborating so that we can help break our neighbors home again. Getting to do this great work with Neighbors for Neighbors and helping thousands of families brings me great joy, and I look forward to doing it every single year. This July, our longtime partners at TriRail hosted an amazing concert to raise funds for Neighbors for Neighbors. There were, of course, bands, food trucks, amazing giveaways, all to help our community. It's hard to emphasize how important it is for us to be part of the community. We see ourselves as the backbone of multimodal transportation here, and that way we need to bring everybody together. That's what we do day in, day out with transportation, and that's what we're doing here today. We have uh, Neighbors for Neighbors. If you go over here to the Funky Buddha beer truck, I've never bought a beer in my life for charity, but now you can come buy a beer for charity, go to Neighbors for Neighbors, which is a great partner of ours. The incredible folks at T-Mobile have been some of our best collaborators. They're always ready to jump in and volunteer and eager to support us whenever the need is greatest. A big thank you to the entire team. So Neighbors for Neighbors, being our favorite nonprofit organization here in South Florida, from the T-Mobile Foundation, T-Mobile and Metro by T-Mobile, we want to present you with another check for $5,000. Last year we gave you $20,000 but we just appreciate everything you do for our community and just want to say thank you. You guys are the best, um, not just because of the money, but you guys volunteer all the time. You are true pillars in the community and we're so proud. I mean, it makes it easy to work together when you love the people you work with, so thank you. Mm -hmm. We are just strumming right along here with our Neighbors for Neighbors special, talking about the great things we're able to do in the community, including our back to school effort, which has helped how many kids? I don't know. Lots of kids, 20,000 families actually, just this year alone. It's so good. In Miami-Dade and Broward counties. And a big thank you to our partners on this, the Children's Services Council of Broward. And our sponsors at UKG and Community Care Plan. Making great music all together. Mm -hmm. I 
scholars to be prepared on day one is critical. All of these things that come together uh, continue to help us to instill in our scholars the mantra that we want them to know. Here at Dillard High School, we are one nation, Panther Nation, striving for excellence. No excuses, no exceptions. What's really special about the Children's Services Council is that right, we bring folks together. And so we can't operate in these silos in the community here in Broward. And I think everyone plays a part in being able to support the children of this particular county. And we have put hundreds of thousands of dollars, we're talking over $500,000 or so, right? Not only in just uh, today's event, right? But the event in general that we're taking place across the county. This Dillard High 6 through 12 is actually the WISE um, School for Services of After School and Summer Camp Services, along with Success Coaching and a plethora of other um, services that we are providing to the students and families here. We have socks, underwear, we have toiletries, Holy Cross Hospital, and also Blue Cross Blue Shield are providing immunizations and also a back to school wellness check for all the families here today. UKG is deeply involved in the South Florida community. We all know that talent is everywhere, but opportunity is not. All of these amazing students with unlimited potential just need a little bit of help to get prepared for school this year. One of the beautiful parts about Neighbors for Neighbors is how they bring together all these smaller nonprofits and they foster a sense of collaboration and community to help uplift every individual that needs help in South Florida. Harmony is one of the proud sponsors of the Back to School event. We are here at this event to help provide those necessities for school. We are glad to be here to provide that information from Harmony and also provide the book bags and the pens and pencils that we have at our station. We're very excited for us to be participating in this event for the first time. It's a partnership with Neighbors for Neighbors that we were able to get involved. Just want to thank my team. They've done a phenomenal job of being able to get a thousand pairs of shoes. So we're very excited to be a part of this event this year with the partnership for Neighbors for Neighbors. I grew up here, so it's very personal for me to be able to come back and serve the community that's done so much for me. It's our job to you know, give back as much that we've taken out. And I really take that to heart. Understanding that this community deserves better, understanding the needs of the community, and being able to provide these resources. And none of this would be possible without the partnership with Children's Service Council. We need to make sure that kids are ready to hit the ground running in school on day one. You can see by the turnout here, there's not just excitement, but a real need. And I'm so proud of the Children's Services Council, proud of the city of Miramar, Vice Mayor Alexander Davis for hosting this. And of course, Neighbor to Neighbor is always there in our community. So thank you all so much. are ready for a successful school year, that parents feel supported, that's what we're here for. So I am honored as mayor of the city of Doral to be able to make this happen along with our school board member, Danny Espino. Today we're giving away about 1,500 book bags. One of the things that we want to make sure that everyone is aware of the low cost, high quality, healthcare that's available to them. Well, not only as a member of Medicaid, but as a member of the community. They can reach out to any resources through us for food, for housing, for anything that's available that's out there. There's so many services that people are not aware of. So 
this event is really important to us. Uh, we work with a lot of sponsors, a lot of uh, different donors, including Neighbors for Neighbors, Kids for Kids, and different sponsors that help us out, um, gather uniforms, book bags, school supplies. For a lot of our migrant families, it's really challenging for them to be able to, to buy the, the basic utensils, the basic things that the kids need to start off the school right. We're very grateful because it's uh, very beneficial. Now I'm not worried how can I take them to school without uniform or clean uniform or um, for sensible shoes for school. Every child gets one of these boxes. Uh, completely filled with all of the essentials for back to school. It, it's very difficult, you know, to be able to get the money together um, to support their children and go back to school with everything they need. Today what we're doing is we have a group of beautiful volunteers that happen to be from Truist and they are packing up the boxes that each child will be able to pick up the day of the event. So there's a lot of prep that goes into it because each child will leave with a backpack and a box, we call it a pizza box, full of supplies. They'll just get them going for the year. We are so grateful and honored to be able to partner with Neighbors for Neighbors and now with our back to school efforts and also in bringing awareness to our services and how people can support and also how people can access our services has been a very valuable partner. The Children's Services Council of Broward goes beyond our back to school effort. They also hold the family fun fair that brings resources to Broward County families. We want families to know that not just the Children's Services Council, but all of our many partners, including the wonderful Neighbors for Neighbors, are committed to making sure that families have the tools they need and the supports they need so that their children can grow into healthy, productive adults. From programs to support moms who are experiencing maternal depression or who just want help in understanding their pregnancy, all the way through subsidized childcare, after school programs, programs for teens, everything, you name it, it is here today to support them. If you have a young child under the age of four, learn about safe sleep, learn about water safety, and also parents can register to vote, get food. If you need something and you weren't able to come out to Sam Delavo Park today, make sure to check in with Neighbors for Neighbors Go to our website, cscbroward.org, or call 211 Broward. I'm sure if you need it, we've got it. We know it is hot outside. That's why we decided why not go ahead and throw the biggest pool party ever. Neighbors for Neighbors is inviting you to the Endless Summer Splash. It has a great ring to it and a big thank you to the Dare Club at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino because that's where the big party is going to be and you are invited to jump on in. There's a great committee in the Fort Lauderdale area that brings nonprofits and businesses together called the Greater Fort Lauderdale Chamber of Commerce Social Impact Committee. And we are proud to say Neighbors for Neighbors was right alongside them playing a major role this year. Our very own CEO, Katie Marr, along with our VP of Development, Alexa Diaz Formidoni, took charge of this committee that brings so many ideas together in one place. As you guys know, um, Alexa and I have taken on as chairs of the council, so we're very excited. And thank you so much to Red Chair Catering. I'm very excited to introduce Kyra Eubanks. Um, she is the CEO of Bringing the Globe and a partner at Neighbors for Neighbors, and she is gonna tell you some terrifying but exciting things.
They are also a part of Women Leading Broward. Alexa, a facilitator. Katie, a leading lady who gave a special presentation on personal branding. For women, we are always busy with everything that we do, and we don't take the time just to figure out a little bit of who we are. So this is worth it. I have grown exponentially. So this program has been such a game changer for me and I recommend it to everybody. Have support doing that. And, and also probably not, right? You know, the Women Leading Broward changed my life, which is why I keep coming back and paying it forward because it was so, I don't know, pivotal in my life. I'm in charge, I'm in the driver's seat and I, I made some decisions for myself that I'm very proud of, and I have the program to thank for that. Fat, right? And someone says, I wish I could look like you, and she put in a thing, and she put, like, best time with it. Uh, it was, it was okay, best time. Um, and this is me. For me, Women Leading Broward was really a pivotal point in my life. Um, I learned about who I was, who I wanted to be, and now, six years later, um, I, I attribute so much of who I am to what I learned. So many of these people that are now pivotal people in my world um, have all come through this organization. It could be that literal road that you went down that you never even knew was there, but changed your life. And we're not the same person. Yeah. Family used to stop. How can we build this energy and this friendship that says, look, we can do it together. You know, community, as a community of women leading Broward sisters, we can do things together and go through our ups and downs. Whatever you need to grow, whether personally, professionally, it's all encompassing the art women leading Broward. When I came to the WLB program, I was just so excited to meet other people who shared the same mission in life, who wanted to make the world a better place, and connect with other women who are really, really um, inspiring and motivating and energizing. There's so many wonderful women out there. We forget about that because we're so focused on our own lives. Women Leading Broward gave me the foundation to look inside myself, my heart, my soul, and realign my priorities, find my mission, vision, and purpose in life. I will forever be grateful for Women Leading Broward. And one of our biggest supporters on and offline, Land Infotech, held their Cyber Safety Summit at where? The Amaret Bank Arena, which is the home of the Florida Panthers, your Stanley Cup champs. We have the good web and then we have the dark web. I, I, I can't explain it any other way on that. The dark web, there is no Google to search things out there. But out on the dark web, the bad guys have all these chat rooms and they start discussing things and post information out there. A chunk of our data is out on that dark web. The study, the latest one that came out, showed that 73% of small to medium companies admitted that they did not believe they could stay off a focused or a targeted cyber attack. We are an IT services firm. We have people that are one or two users that are working out of houses. We have large companies that are in place. We're here to help solve your IT needs. And I always kind of say that we're more interested in a relationship than we are in just closing that quick big deal. Neighbors for Neighbors was proud to once again team up with the Task Force for Ending Homelessness for their annual Point in Time Count. There are so many wonderful folks out there. We need to have a count of what's going on so that we can best serve them 
their needs specifically in Broward County and in Fort Lauderdale in this case. So we do quite a few things in the community, but the primary thing that we do in the community, the thing that we started with um, is street outreach. So we go out into the community 365 days a year and we find people living in places not meant for human habitation. Um, we talk to these people, we find out what it is that they need and what's available to them, and then we try to connect them with those services. At Neighbors for Neighbors, we believe helping feels good. We believe the individuals and families we serve are truly deserving. And when we connect those in need with those who can help, we change lives. With your generous donations, we can continue to serve our neighbors today and for years to come. To help make a positive impact on your community, please visit neighborsforneighbors.org slash donate. That does it for the 2024 Summer Special. I'm Cynthia Demas. I'm Ashley O. And a big thank you to CBS Miami and TV 33. And Land Infotech. And Berkowitz Pollock Brand. And of course you. And especially you. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next time.